Romeo Shaolin Max here. I will be showing you uh, my my street safety accessories. Uh, first off is my backpack. Now, whether I have anything in my backpack or not, I always carry the backpack with me. Reason being, it's my shield. Now, where I came up with this was a father in the States from Boston. His kid was going back to school last year. With all the school shootings, he decided to bulletproof his kid's backpack. I looked around to see how much you know, it would cost to actually get uh, maybe one ballistic plate or a couple ballistic plates somehow, and it was going to run a little too much, so I figured I'd look around and see what I could come up with and do it myself. I had once heard about a World War I, a World War II myth, legend, story, I'm not sure, of a soldier out, he had a Bible in his uh, chest pocket. He got shot, but the Bible stopped it. Now, I don't know if that was something else or just the fact that he had a book in his pocket over his heart. Now, what I put in my backpack, it's perfect, there's a little place where you can just slide it in there, is the world. It's an atlas, it's fairly thick, uh, would it stop a bullet, but it's not really intended for a bullet, it's more intended for a knife, a form of knife defense. Now, if you've ever seen a knife fight and you don't have anything to block the knives with, you're pretty much dead. So, simply, I do have something here to block if there ever is a knife in my face. Uh, not only would I block, but I might even throw it at the guy and run. So, I don't carry anything of great value in this bag. The Atlas isn't that much of a value. The bag itself, $50 or whatever, isn't that much of value. My life is a whole lot more valuable than whatever I may carry in this bag. And plus, Buddy will have a good laugh for reading my journal if he decides to keep my bag, because my journal's in there. And there's lots of weird stuff written down in there. Second uh, street safety tip is carry a fake wallet with you. Don't get rid of your old wallet. Keep your old wallet. Put a few small denomination bills in there, a few business cards, or whatever. Nothing with your information on it, nothing like that. Just cards, pick up cards wherever you go, and you're getting mugged, buddy asks you for your wallet, you give him the wallet, he looks, okay, he, you just gave him your wallet. How many people carry two wallets on them? Not that many. Well, just the weirdos. So, you give him your wallet or you throw the wallet and you run. Now, in Canada, we don't have small denominations. Our smallest denomination is a $5 bill. Our $2 and our $1 are actually change. A toonie. I don't have a loony on any, but this has actually been proven to work. I used it myself when I was on the streets in Vancouver uh, for a month. It was self-imposed living on the streets in poverty. I did have some change on me, and something bad happened. I ended up having a, a knife in my face, and somebody asked me for my money. So I gave him my money. I went in my pocket. I grabbed the change. I whipped it in his face, and I ran out of there as fast as possible. Hopefully... None of these will ever have to be used. Be safe. Namaste.